well, Sarah. Um, you know, sometimes people recognize you when you are on the street going to the grocery store or at the car wash or whatever, but, you know, for the most part, it's just, you know, pretty normal. Business as usual. I'm a mother. I take care of my daughter. Um, I love to work. <laughs> love to hang out with you guys here. So, pretty fun. Pretty normal. So, how old were you and when did you get into the business? I was 17 years old when I started Dallas. So, yeah, that was a, oh, was 10 years ago or so. <laughs> That's a big fat lie. No, it was a while ago. But um, I just knew I wanted to be an actress since I was very, very young. And like you um, are doing here at Actors with Autism, I studied and I studied and just tried to go to different acting classes and things like that, like you're doing, to just get into the business. What were your most memorable thoughts of working on Dallas? Um, my memorable thoughts for working on Dallas were just um, the fun we had, because everybody on the show became like a real family. So even though we played a family on screen, but we were like a real family off screen too. So that was the best. We had a lot of fun. Oh, well, good. So like on the show Dallas, there's like one episode that I'm curious about. Who shot JR? <laughs> <laughs> the big Who Shot JR. That was the number one rated television show of all time. And that was Sue Ellen's sister, um, Kristen, played by Mary Crosby, being Crosby's daughter. So, um, and she was the one that shot JR. <gasps> I know. He deserved it. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, what other shows besides Dallas have you performed in? Um, well, I was in the original Freaky Friday movie. I don't know if you've seen the original. Yeah, I know you saw, you've probably seen the remake with Lindsay Lohan uh -huh. and Jamie Curtis, Jamie Lee Curtis. And um, I've done a bunch of different shows, different television shows, Happy Days, Eight is Enough, all the old shows back then. And then also um, some new things now. Um, Dallas is coming back again on TNT, so I'm doing oh, that. Oh, great. Yeah. So, what is your secret to stay young and healthy? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, I do try to eat healthy, I have to say. I have, um, it's kind of a new thing I've started, but it's helping. I'm trying not to eat too much sugar and trying not to eat too much, too much bread and pasta and stuff. Oh yeah, those are very important yeah. stuff. I gotta remember that. <laughs> so, do you feel the industry has changed since you started? It has, you know, um, it, it has, you know, you've got a lot of paparazzi and TMZ and those people chasing, chasing you now. We, we did back then, but the thing that stays the same in the business is work. And um, the talent always rises to the top. And if you have a dream or if somebody out there listening has a dream, you just work hard and, and continue to study and do the best you can to achieve that dream. Because it's it's hard work, you know that. Oh yeah, I can see that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you like to do for fun? Oh, well, my daughter and I love to, well we have, um, we've got three dogs that we've rescued. Ooh. A little dachshund in a wheelchair, he's paralyzed. And we have a dog with one eye. And all of our animals are um, special needs animals, but uh, we call them our handy capable dogs, <laughs> our handy capable babies and we love to work with animal rescues and um, so we love to do that. Go see movies and plays and you know, hike, things like that. What are the pros and cons of being a famous personality? Well, you know, I don't know too many cons, too many things against it, but I have just been very blessed um, to be able to work, to do what I love to do. Um, I've been very fortunate, very blessed. God has blessed me tremendously, so um, I'm very grateful, I have to say, that I'm able to continue to work, so. That's great. Yeah. Great. Do you have any new projects in the works? Well, I'm actually waiting for a phone call to see if, about a new Nickelodeon television series that I'll find out today. <laughs> so hopefully that comes through. And Dallas, and I'm also doing the Tammy Faye Baker story. Oh, yeah, I heard of that. Yes, I am. So. I'll be playing Tammy Faye Baker and producing it as well. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, you know, uh, Katie Couric and uh, Meredith Vera, they're all leaving. I think you 
I'm going to give them a run for your, their money, honey. I think you better get up there. You better call CBS and NBC. Hurry, quick. we got to get this girl up there. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Thank you, Sarah.